You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the What's dream. What's going on, Strand Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strand Team family, welcome to the Strand Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you got to do is put them at the bottom, and I promise we're going to make that video happen. What better way just to finish this week off with just blasting out our biceps and our triceps. That is exactly what we're going to do. If you have been banging it out with me this entire week, I want to give you a major salute. We have just really just killed everything. I mean, then had two back sessions, a great chest, great shoulders, killer leg. Then we're going to finish it off with some biceps triceps and abs that is way too much talking so let's jump straight into this bicep and tricep workout now our first exercise we got the close grip bench press we have five total sets every single set i want you to increase the weight your first set choose a weight that you can get for 15 reps my weight was 185 pounds Every single set, I was adding 10 pounds and I worked all the way up to 225 pounds. So your first set, you're gonna do 15 reps. Your second set, you're gonna do 12 reps. Your third set, you're gonna do 10 reps. Now your fourth set, I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can and stay between six to eight reps. And your heaviest set, which is your fifth, I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can for four to six reps. And like I mentioned, my weight was 225 pounds. But listen, you know how it is, strength team. We are all about that volume and that intensity. So that fifth and final set, it's not just gonna be a regular set. Immediately after you finish getting your four to six reps, I think I was able to get five reps with 225 pounds. Now I want you to drop the weight off. I want you to drop the weight by 50%. No matter what your strength is, just drop it by 50%. Now I want you to go in there and go all the way to failure. I think I was able to get 15 reps because I went from 225 pounds to 135 pounds, just like I'm showing you in the video. But listen, once you reach failure, you're not done. Just go ahead and just rest for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds because we're gonna do a double rest pause set. So just like I'm showing you in the video, after I went to failure, now I'm going to rest for maybe like 10 seconds. Now I want you to go with 135 pounds or whatever your weight is with the drop set. Now go to failure again. Guys, your triceps are going to be on fire. Take it as far as you possibly can, but be safe. I don't want you to be in the gym and get stuck up under that bar and ain't nobody there to help you. So just be safe, but still push it as far as you possibly can. Now, once you reach failure, you're still not done. Go ahead and rack it. And I want you to rest for another like eight to 10 seconds. And I want you to go in there one more time, ladies and gentlemen, and take it all the way to failure. One exercise in and your triceps are going to be pumped. Now, we're just going to follow it up with some weighted dips. Nothing fancy, but very effective exercise. We have five total sets, and I want you to stay between six to 12 reps. Just like we did on the first exercise, it's going to be another pyramid scheme. Every single set, I want you to increase the weight. I started off with 25 pounds, and my heaviest set, it was 45 pounds plus a 10 pound plate, and that was my top weight. Now, just to make this even better, your fourth and your fifth set, they're both going to be drop sets. So I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can. You should only get maybe like six or seven reps. Now just drop that weight off. Now go back in there, guys, and take it all the way to failure, just with your body weight. You may think, oh, man, it's going to be light. So you think you won't be able to get like 20 reps. Man, you ain't going to be able to get 10. <laughs> Because I think on my fourth and my fifth set, I think I was able to get like six or seven reps with 55 pounds attached to me, but then I dropped the weight off. But on my drop set, I was only able to get like eight to 12 reps, but that's exactly how I want you to do. Now, after you finish with that, our last and final exercise for our triceps, just to make sure we got our triceps pumped and just go ahead and pump as much blood into our triceps that is physically possible, we have the cable rope pushdowns. We're only going to do three sets, but it's going to be for 25. And what I mean by forced reps, you're going to see it when you see the workout, is forced reps. So basically what I want you to do is go as heavy as you possibly can that you can only get 15 reps. And for all three sets, that's the same weight. Do not lighten the weight. You're going to want to lighten the weight. But listen, do not lighten the weight. My weight was only 90 pounds and I was only able to get it for 15 reps. Now this is what I mean by forced reps. 
maybe just rest for like five to six seconds. Now you're gonna go right back in there, guys, and do as many reps as you possibly can again. Your arms is already pumped, your triceps are already fatigued. So again, you may not even get 25, so you may get 15, then you may rest, then you may get five, then you may rest, then you may get three. Do that as long as it takes until you do 25 total reps. Now you're actually finished with that one set. You're gonna rest for maybe like two minutes and you're gonna do this again for your second and your third set and I promise you, just three simple exercises and your triceps are going to be on swole. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for our biceps. So our first exercise, just to make sure that we're gonna maximize it, we're gonna do the dumbbell preacher curls. We have six total sets and I want you to stay between six to 10 reps. Full range of motion, like I'm showing you in the video. Come down slow and controlled. Now pull it up and squeeze. Now when you're at the top, you see how I'm doing the video? I want you to squeeze and flex your biceps like you are taking a picture. Like somebody is looking at you and you are trying to show them that you got some bicep guns. Go ahead and squeeze for one second. Now come down slow and controlled. Every single rep of every single set, that is what I want you to do. You don't have any drop sets. You don't have any rest pause sets. It's just six straight sets, but I want you to do six to 10 reps. Now after finish with that, we have the incline bench dumbbell curls. Again, nothing fancy, but a very effective exercise. We have six total sets, and I want you to stay between eight to 12 reps. Nothing fancy, guys. Just go ahead and get in that incline position. Keep your arms all the way straight so you can get that stretch every single rep. Honestly, this exercise is not gonna allow you to go extremely heavy, but you don't have to. That's the great thing about this exercise. It's gonna put your biceps in a position where your biceps are gonna be doing most of the work. But like I'm showing in the video, every single rep is slow, every single rep is controlled. I'm probably coming down counting at least two to maybe three seconds. Then I'm coming up, squeezing and flexing my biceps at the top for at least a half to even one full second. And I'm doing that for every every single rep. And honestly, that's all you need to do for your biceps. There's no need for you to do any more. If you feel like after you've done these two exercises that your biceps are not just absolutely just pumped out of their mind, you cheated. I'm just gonna be honest, you cheated. You either was using too light of weight or you was not focusing on squeezing and stretching. This whole entire program that we're gonna be doing is all about concentrating on the muscle that we're working on. We don't wanna go in the gym and have to do so much work where we're in the gym for like two and two and a half hours. We're not doing that, guys. We're trying to be in the gym at the most an hour and a half, but I'm trying to cut it around to maybe like 60 minutes. Like an example, this workout only took 60 minutes, but you know it's not finished. Every other day, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, calves, abs, calves, abs. So we did calves yesterday, so you know what we got today. We gotta finish it off with a nice, Ab workout. The one exercise that we're going to do today just to finish off our abs for this entire week, we have the hanging side to side leg raises. Six total sets and all six sets are to failure. Nothing fancy guys. I know if you notice all our ab workouts, there's nothing fancy. We're not doing none of the stuff you see on Instagram or uh, anywhere on social media. It's not that we're just doing basic exercise that's going to work your entire core, your lower, your mid, your top, your obliques. So like you're seeing the video, go ahead and get on a bar. You're just going to hang. I want you to bring your legs all the way up slightly to the left. Now come down and count one, two, three. Stop at the bottom. Now bring the legs up and come slightly to the right. And again, count one, two, three. The negative of this exercise is just as important as when you're actually lifting your legs up because the negative is where you really just gotta control it. When you're lifting it up, okay, you got your hip flexors helping a little bit, you got your legs, maybe even your back slightly just to get the movement started. But when you're coming down, listen, your abs are on their own. So literally embrace that negative and try to count at least two seconds. Guys, I'm super proud of y'all. Like this whole week was just great. So I'm gonna probably not train tomorrow, probably take tomorrow off for rest day, but you know what? <laughs> I got something in store for you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my complete lean bulking diet. I'm gonna show you meal by meal, how to cook it, everything. I'm up a total of like 12 pounds and I'm still pretty lean, guys. So everything is going great. So I want it to be available for anybody out there that may wanna follow what I'm doing so that way it can go great for you.
that's what I'm talking about. Next week, everything that we're doing, the movements and the lifts may stay the same, but it's time to increase the weight. Even if it's just 2.5 pounds, or maybe even if we just increase it by one rep, we want progression. So we're gonna push for progression. But like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video, make sure you share this video, but at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. <laughs>